Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. There was a game update very recently that changed a nearly 20 year old minigame. It's from 2006. It's nearly 18 years old. That means the minigame is able to do a lot of things that I'm not allowed to say in the YouTube video. But if we check out the news post here, a very, very recent news post, at least as of the time of recording this, and we control F Trouble, the Trouble Brewing minigame has been changed. I feel like it's kind of hidden in the news post, but in my opinion, this is a pretty big change. When you pour buckets of water into the hopper at Trouble Brewing, your character will now use all the buckets one by one and you don't have to spam click. If you've never done Trouble Brewing, then this means nothing to you, but you will see today why that does mean something. I've been putting off Trouble Brewing for years, specifically hoping for this change. Here's an example of a DM I sent to someone last year, but I swear I've been saying it for years. But yeah, let's get started with the Trouble Brewing, and first things first, there is a minigame teleport that takes you directly there. The reason to do trouble brewing by the way is because of the collection log and I am a collection log guy after all and there's 30 log slots to get here. Later on we'll go over the prices and I'll figure out how long it's going to take on average to complete the whole log. I really don't want to think about that right now but the currency of the minigame is called pieces of eight. And there's a bank chest that we can use here which wasn't even added until 2020. We could check the pieces of eight. I have 200 so I did you get 100 per game. I did one for the diary and then another one just at some point I felt like doing one. Maybe I was helping someone else out but I have 200. So let's start the minigame. I'm going to right click join team with the honest Jimmy and I got my friend, my buddy, helping me out on the other team. And the game starts pretty quickly. So first thing, we're going to run over to the workbench. I have it highlighted already from the past. And we have to grab 25 buckets, or full inventory, at least 25 buckets. By default, the left click is take one, but I already had that set to take five, so we'll do that. And we'll run over to this side. I already have this thing highlighted, the water pump. So we'll use the bucket on the water pump. This has always done the autofill, so you don't have to spam click for that, so we'll just wait for that to fill up. After it's filled, we're going to go up the ladder, which I also conveniently already had highlighted. When we go up here, this is the part that changed. The hopper, again, I also had this highlighted from before. Previously, you'd have to zoom in and spam click like that to fill it up. It's not even going now, but we'll just click it once, and now it's going to automatically do it for you. I thought maybe it'd be like if you spam click now, it'd be faster, but... You can't even do it. And then once we empty all the buckets, we're gonna run back down to the ladder and repeat that process until you get to 100. You can see it keeps track up here with the bucket of water thing, it says 25. And that's it, you get this to 100 and that is the cap for if you're doing this method at least. You could properly play the mini game and get slightly more by making the rum. I don't even know how to do that method, but this is really the method that everyone does. And then for the last 15 minutes, you can go completely AFK. There is a plugin on Runelite called the Logout Timer and you can set it for up to 25 minutes. That's the maximum, which of course that's more time than you even need because by default you get logged out after five minutes. But with that plugin, you will not get logged out for the whole mini game. So if you have to leave to go to work, but you still have five minutes left, you could quickly come here and get the game started and let the last 15 minute timer run. Or if you have to go shower or you're going to eat or do anything really. Really, you probably could get it done in maybe three to four minutes. I just took five minutes because I was explaining as I went. Or you could spread out your clicks throughout the whole 20 minutes. Like you could do one click every two minutes and you'd still make the time by the end rather than focusing super hard at the start for the first three minutes. I am also going to be doing the same method on my main at the same time because I don't have the collection log done on this account either and just in case I do ever decide to play this account again I'll probably be glad to have the pieces of eight and it's pretty much no extra effort if I'm already doing it on this account as it is. And the game is about to end in just a few seconds here and there's the 100 pieces of eight. You can see I got it on the other account too. The thing is about going into trouble brewing is that you can't have any pets out, you can't have anything equipped in your head slot because you get a bandana put on you, but you also can't have any items in your inventory, including pieces of eight. And you can see if I try to enter now, join team, you might want to dump that stuff you're holding. So thankfully for me, since I have a bank, I could just toss that into a bank. But you can imagine if you play a UIM, that would be pretty annoying that you can't even bring just pieces of eight into the mini game. Or there's the deposit box. If you don't want to run all the way over to the bank, you could uh, actually, you could just use it on the deposit box or then you get the option there. But yeah, you don't have to actually open up the interface. Now, I'm no UIM, so I'm not going to butt in with my opinion because my opinion is irrelevant as someone who plays with the bank. But I'll just make a prediction, which is that in the future, I predict that they will allow you to bring pieces of eight into the minigame. Might be years and years in the future until that update happens, but I think that update will someday come into the game. I'm going to swap the left click to be join team because if you're doing this for like dozens or hundreds of games you're probably going to be glad to have that left click. I'm checking the wiki right now. It says that there's an interval of three minutes between rounds. 
So really it's going to be 23 minutes for 100 pieces of eight. After you play this game long enough, you do come to realize eventually that over time, over the years, the game does tend to get easier and easier. So if there's an activity that you don't want to do, then you're best logging off and not playing the game again until they make an update that makes the activity easier. Like this actually is a perfect example of an activity where doing it or not doing it doesn't really affect anything else in the game. So if there is a theoretical update that could make it easier, then you may as well wait to do the activity, right? I spent the whole day yesterday at this mini game while I was editing. So let's see how many pieces of eights. I'm up to 4,100. That's about 10% of the way to completing the trouble brewing collection log. Although unfortunately for the sake of content I can't spend all day every day for the next 10 days doing trouble brewing. I gotta switch it up and do some other stuff. Not just for the sake of content but for the sake of myself too. I like playing the game. So I'm gonna go back to doing Slayer. I got a DK's task near the end of the last video. Well, I've been doing Konar. I got Dagnoth's on water birth. So I'm gonna get back into doing some Slayer. I'm trying to stack up brimstone keys currently at 512. Oh there's a combat achievement I've been meaning to get done. I always forget. Kill him when he's frozen. <laughs> that was easy. Hey, we got a dragon axe. This is my first time ever getting 1k KC at a specific DK on any account ever. There's 1000 Rex. There's the end of the DK's task with the rock shell legs that I'm gonna add into my POH. Not a single ring the whole task. That's what we got, about 2 mil. Still need the second Archer's Ring, up to over 900 KC of uh, Prime and Supreme. Hey, the number of tasks I'm at is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the first four digit sequentially increased. They should add a prayer that lets you pray range and melee at the same time. Pet this wisp KC calling it. <clears throat> Is this thing working? That was weird. I think my mic broke for a second. Hmm, you have to fix the mic arm. It's a bit squeaky. Let's see, squeaky arm. Oh, bonds are way down today. Oh, it took. Oh, I'm glad I didn't actually put in a, a payment for a bond, like a real offer, because I didn't know it was gonna take GP from the bank. <laughs> Oh my god, like, that's good to know for the future. Alright, no one mess around with this thing. There's a game update, and it's in 41 minutes, and because each game is 23 minutes, I'm gonna barely not have enough time to do a second game, but I guess that will give me plenty of time to do my final birdhouse run before EOC gets added. Look at those three perfectly lined up, all attacking on the same tick. No way, a fourth one? Oh, it's melee. I mean the boys. Very satisfying. Wait a second. I hit 1250 Slayer tasks, and I didn't even see the, uh, oh, I, I missed it. I don't know how many points I got. I'll look it up on the wiki. I hopped worlds too, so you can't even see it on there. Okay, every 250th task from Konar with the Elite Diary, you get 700 points. So just pretend like you see the plus 700 in there somewhere. Hey, we got a full trident. I've been waiting a very long time for this KC. This KC, 5,432. Do you know what this KC is? This is the third four-digit sequentially decreasing Kraken KC, not only on the group Iron Man, but on any account I've ever had. 5432, 4321-3210. It's the the third, the third one of those ones. That was a 30-second clip, my god. <laughs> wait, Abidemons wait, e wait, I forgot. Is Abyss? Does that make it fight Sire? It's been so long since I've done Slayer. No, this is Sire. I thought it was like Nexus or something. No, Abyss is Sire. I could do Sire. Yes. Well, we got the game update today and it's pretty much all quality of life fixes. And let's take a look at them. There's a couple I want to show here. Uh, this one right here, Cooked Karambwan is now the default cooking option. So no longer will you set up to go AFK cook, press space bar, walk away, and then come back to full inventory of green Karambwans. And then the other thing is Chaos Elemental Respawn Timer is now 15 seconds. So I felt like that was kind of worth showing. But yeah, back to trouble brewing for a few hours this morning and then we'll get into Sire. I forgot to show my KC collection log stuff. So very quickly, since I'm here, here's uh, where I'm at. 1372 KC at Sire, 12 on Sires, and no pet. That's the thing that we're going for. We got two bludgeons already, which is the thing that matters. So here we go. Sire's so fun. You could even say I desire to Sire. That would be a good title. Actually, that's no, really bad for uh, 
search engine optimization. So just just pretend like that's the title, even though it's definitely not gonna be the title. Life pro tip, if you don't wanna hurt your wrist while skateboarding, just land on your head instead. This is 1400 KC at Sire, two Dragon Med Helms. This is 1500 Sire. Here's the final kill. 163 sires done, no one sired, but that's okay because it's fun. Ending this task with 1535 KC. What do we get? Black dragons in the evil chicken's lair. Is I just found out the other day there's um there's a baby black dragon somewhere in the evil chicken's lair. I don't know where it is, but let's go try to find it. We're gonna get our chicken to get into the shrine. We got our chicken to use on the shrine to get us to the evil chicken's lair. Good thing I have the shield on. I think it's, I don't even know. Oh wait. Wait, there's a, there's an icon here. I forgot the rope, no! <laughs> okay, I'll make like a soup guide real quick. So the rope you brought with you, you're gonna use on here, climb down, and we have one singular baby black dragon. Because of this, the when you get the counter task for baby black, or black dragons in the evil chicken's lair, it makes it a really fast task. It's pretty much free slayer points. And uh, these are aggressive too, because you never get to double their level plus one. So you could go completely AFK here for 10 minutes. If you are doing this task, you could hop worlds between the baby dragons, but you still have to wait 10 seconds. So even if you are hopping worlds, you might still want to bring fletching supplies or alking supplies. <laughs> when you examine the generator, it says, looks to be wheelie old. Good one, Jagex. Couldn't have said it better myself. Look at that. Axolotl, whoa, Axolotl. I think I've seen that person before and mentioned it before, but that, I was like, wow, a cool looking character. And then that's me. I'm I am Mudkip the Axolotl. Uh, fellow uh, ra strung rabbit's foot enjoyer. You love to see it. Maybe next time I'll try Vanerbo for Dust Devils. I'm just curious. Because I feel like with the amount of time I idle here sometimes, I'd be better off just AFK with the Vanerbo. Abyssal Demons in the Abyss. Do I want to do another Sire task? I will decide tomorrow. I'm going to do Trouble Brewing for the rest of the night. Today, we get. Buckets. <laughs> wow, I, I just got the, the last one pretty recently. Okay, didn't think I was gonna get one there, but uh, eight buckets in 243. I should have only expected about seven in this KC. So lucky, man. I've been doing this thing at Trouble Brewing for a couple days now, but I kept forgetting to record a clip about it till now, which is how to save time at Trouble Brewing. Well, actually there's two ways I discovered to save time, but I'll start with the thing that I've been doing, which is after each game, I hop worlds on both my accounts. Because if a game just ended, you know, there's the three minute cooldown on that world before a game can start. But after that, games will start in 30 seconds. So if you hop worlds, you have like a fresh timer. So you pretty much get to save between two to two and a half minutes per game. It may not sound like a lot, but that means that for every 10 games you start this way, you actually get an extra one for free. Now the other way to save time is this piece of knowledge right here. You can join a game halfway through, and I think you still get the full reward at the end. If I'm reading this right, that means you could cut the time in half to complete the collection log for Trouble Brewing. The only problem is, I think you would need another two alts playing a game on another world, and you'd also have to time it right to make sure that the games are properly staggered. But it only takes like 5 minutes to get the 100 buckets of water, so having 10 minutes is plenty of time. I'm not going to be doing that method, but I gotta mention it, of course, in case anyone else is thinking about doing this. One more thing to mention if you are doing the joining halfway through method, be very particular about which chat box you use to enter the game with, and you have to be in the red waiting room. This round of trouble brewing, when I deposit the 100 into the bank, let me check, I'm now at 10k. Well, I've got some bad news. The birdhouse run seeds are just about out. That's almost the end of the onion seeds, but if we take a look in the seed vault here from all the thieving I did, I do have a lot of potato seeds. But once these run out, then I'll actually be worried because, well, I have a bit of cabbage seeds, but when these run out, I'm actually gonna have to do something about it. Yeah, I am gonna skip that sire task because I want a little bit more variety in my life. So next clip you see will be probably something Slayer. At least with this spot, there's three baby blue dragons for this blue dragon myth skill task. And so by the time I kill the third one, the first one is respawning. So it's not waiting around like you have to do with the black dragon 
in the evil chicken dungeon but even though the task is like three times longer it's actually like the same speed because there's three of them thank god i have them highlighted as blue otherwise i wouldn't know which ones to kill i forgot that the all the types of blue dragons drop the scaly blue dehydes. The longer you gamble, the more the house wins in the long run. So they want to keep you there as long as possible because the odds are always skewed in their favor. So theoretically, the best thing, the most efficient way to gamble is to go to the casino, put everything on the roulette table and you either win or lose in uh, one hand. And that that is efficient gambling. As a RuneScape player, I'm sure we can all appreciate efficiency. I've only ever had one scaly blue dehyde on the account, so now I got two. I just happened to look over the loot tracker and it was very close to 10k Dagnoths, just over 10k, and I thought that was pretty neat. So if you ever wondered what the loot would be from 10k Dagnoths, here you go. Other people would have to put in dozens of hours to make a video like this, but me, I just happen to already have it put into a random progress video. I can't use the music cape to teleport to this clue step because it's trimmed and I don't have all the music tracks. So I have to untrim it to use the teleport. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I can't even use it. Dang. Okay. <laughs> I have to suffer for the clue step for the next few days. Yeah, I'm uh, missing a few music tracks now, which reminds me we are very close to the quest cape. When I started this blood bell task, I reset my range XP per hour because I was curious. I haven't really tracked any uh, Venator bow tasks. So I want to see what the range XP would be for the task. And it looks like it's over 160k range XP per hour. No way, is that settled? Oh my gosh, spoiler, he got 99 cooking. No way, is that person actually doing the... <laughs> <laughs> actually doing the settled thing. Oh, I teleported. Well, I'll just pretend like it was the settled thing. You know, um, two of those guys, Link's Ocarina and Rarg, for the longest time, I always got them mixed up with each other. I always thought that Rarg was the British guy. Anyone else feel that way? Or is that just me? I don't know if I've ever had two neck real superiors before. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so cool, and I got both of them in the same attack thing. Head counters reach crafting level 97, GZ. Always do your Konar neck reels catacomb tasks, because look at that, eight broomstone keys from one task. I love the Venator bow. Hey, we got a virtual magic level of 108, which is 31.7 mil XP. I got so many keys on my previous neck reels task, I didn't think it'd be possible to one-up it, but I got another next task. I got even more keys, or key, I got nine this time, so it's pretty epic. You know what's really crazy? Think about March of 2020, not the fact it was COVID, I guess it's kind of related, but like March of 2020 to now, that was four years, right? Four years ago. Now think about your four years of high school. Think about how long four years ago to now versus the four years of high school, how fast each of those went. One was a lot slower than the other, wasn't it? Thoughts on September, wake me up when it ends. I used up all the Alks of the Explorer's Ring today. It's my uh, third neck reels task of the day. It's been a long day at the long day factory, let me tell ya. When you're a group Iron Man, you can't look the person up on the high scores. They just show up as a main unless you know their GIM team, which isn't really intuitive to find. Unless people know me from YouTube, then they won't know I'm a GIM unless I talk. And because of my gear, you wouldn't think that this is any kind of Iron Man account. <laughs> Having the freaking like Corp Sigil, the Ancestral, Kodai. The reason why I bring that up is in terms of getting crashed. Like if someone knows you're an Iron Man, you're a free world, but because people can't tell I'm an Iron Man, then you know, it kind of works out in my favor that way. Call him a broke boy. <laughs> no, because then they could attack my, now they know I'm an Iron, so they could attack my stacks. I, I guess it is kind of a symbiotic relationship because if I hop worlds and they have to find another world to leech the items from, so. I guess I could call him a broke boy, huh? <laughs> I haven't recorded a clip of progress in like three days because, well, we're kind of doing stuff outside the house, but also I spent the last couple of days working on a side video. So I've mainly been AFKing trouble brewing, although today I was doing quite a bit of fishing. Got a decent amount of Kuram ones and no pet, by the way. Uh, but the reason why I'm recording this clip is because Spook Dog is very close to 99 crafting. She's part of the way into 98 at this point and she needs some sand. Interesting thing about the sand, you know, you get the 84 delivered to the bank every day passively from Bert. So in one year, that means that you get a bit over 30K delivered every year. 
and it's been pretty much a year and a half. It was August of 2022 that I got 99 crafting. So the math maths perfectly. So pretty much all this sand was from Bert and Spooked on needs about 9,000 or like 8,900. So I'll give her over 9,000 buckets of sand into the storage. Good morning, real quick. We got a game update to take a look at. Quality of life changes. First thing is the collection log now has a search feature. Let's take a look at that. Let's open this up and search. So if I search jar, for example, oh, that's cool. Oh, and then if you click on it, it takes you to the tab. Combat achievement broadcasts. You can now customize them for both clans and group Ironmen. Were there not combat achievement notifications before? Let me go into the group thing here. Yeah, I know it showed the tiers before. We had that enabled already, but uh, I guess it didn't have the specific individual combat achievements, so we'll turn those on. Oh, and then from there you could choose if you want only certain tiers to show. We'll have all of them showing. When you get uniques from forestry events, they'll no longer be placed on the ground. They'll instead go into your inventory, so you won't have to worry about missing them. Also, rip to uh, when people type like white colon fox whistle as soon as the event ended. That meme is no more. Well, I'm sure people will still do it, but they'll probably uh, die away over time. The last thing I want to show, there's a couple updates to clues. So when a player drops a clue scroll, it now lasts for one hour instead of two minutes. I thought it was three minutes before when you dropped a clue, but it says two minutes here. Now it says it doesn't change the existing behavior when an NPC drops a clue. So if you get a clue as a drop, you'll have to pick it up and then drop it if you want it to stay for an hour. And then one more thing here, you'll be told when you would have gotten a clue but didn't get one because you already had one. The more I think about it, the more I like that clue message thing because it's very easy to forget that you already had a certain type of clue in the bank, so it's a nice reminder. Anyways, I'm not going to be doing too much more in this video. I'm really just, I've been looking through the collection log trying to figure out what I want to do for the next video. So as soon as I figure that out, I will end the video. I looked at the time at the start of the video. It was 401 days and 15 hours. So it's been five days and two hours, which is 122 hours of progress in this video. As for the pieces of eight, it is 100 pieces per 21 minutes. So that's 4.76 per minute, multiply that by 60. This means it's about 285 pieces of eight per hour. So with that in mind, let's see how many pieces of eight I've collected throughout this video. 19K, or I had the 100 from before, but we'll just say 19K. Let's go do 19,000 divide by 285. I spent over 66 hours at Trouble Brewing in this video. Spent about half my time at Trouble Brewing and the other half doing Konar Slayer collecting brimstone keys. And we should take a look at the stack of brimstone keys. It is at 570. Probably average like two keys per hour. I, I thought it was two keys per hour, but I started with 512. So if I spent 60 hours doing Slayer, that means I got one key per hour. Oh my God. So this is like, this is a lot slower than I thought it was gonna be to get to 1K. I don't exactly have a goal, but I know I wanna get at least 1K before I open them, but I even go beyond that depending on how I'm feeling at the time. In total, to fill up the collection log for Trouble Brewing, I need about 40K pieces of eight. So almost to the halfway point after all this time. I know for you guys, it doesn't seem like too much time, but it has been a lot of time at Trouble Brewing so far. If you want to keep me company when I stream, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash wild underscore mudkip and make sure to check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs channel, link below in the video description and keep up to date with her road to max. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.